and welcome to another Liberty Plays. This is your host, Liberty, and we are playing a little game called Happy Birthday! Um, ooh, fancy. You are hereby invited to a birthday celebration and private party in honor of Annabelle Marilor's 10th year. Address and date are printed on the back. Please RSVP. Get your ass into attendance. Let's go. No. Ah. No. Get it. Get away. It, it's a dead end. Ah. Please, please don't. Happy birthday to you. Happy birth. You're gonna die. Alrighty. It's so nice to finally get out somewhere, just you and me. Yeah, it's so much fun. But is it bad if we don't go with them? Don't worry, sweetie. They'll be fine. Your father will take care of it. But I say it would be a shame to waste a warm evening. I doubt we've many left before fall, you know. I hope we do. I want this summer to last forever. Eee. Eh? Where is this? There's no sound so far. And who... Um, you're the detective hired to find out culprit, dear. Don't you recall? Who are you? I'm the landowner of this mansion. Of the this mansion. This mansion. A rather wealthy family rented it out earlier this morning to host a birthday party for their ten-year-old daughter. Unfortunately, the festivities have turned to tragedy. Huh? The birthday girl has wound... has ended up dead, or has wound up dead. Not both. Murdered. A poor child if only ten, of only ten years. The family's elder daughter has also gone missing. Being the bright young private investigator that you are, you've been hired to sort out this terrible turn of events and save the second girl. Their father isn't a big fan of the police, you see. No way. Good luck, dear. And please, would you stop lounging around and make haste? It's been a long, terrible night for everyone. Well, damn. Detective? Am I truly a detective? I can't remember anything. How am I supposed to figure out anything, anything out, when I don't even know my own name? Is it possible that I might find my memories too if I start hunting down the murderer? Yeah, most likely. There has to be a reason I lost them. And I wouldn't even know where else to go if I left. Maybe, maybe I'll give it a shot. What's this? An extra bullet? There are a few traces of blood, but certainly not enough for it to have gone through a body. It's completely on the opposite side of the hallway from the rest of the blood, too. How odd. I got an extra bullet! Alright. Current thoughts. What's this? My memory is completely blank up until a few minutes ago. I'm at a mansion that was the site of a birthday party and a murder. According to the landlady, I'm a private detective who was hired to catch the culprit. If I keep working, perhaps I'll uncover my memories, and the reason they disappeared too. Okay, I've got an extra bullet. No clues. I mean keys. Uh, let's save. Options. I know, this is purely cosmetic. There's no background music at the moment. Auto dash instant. Okay. Uh, close. Alright, so let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the master bedroom. I can't really see anything out of place. Hmm. It's 
so bright and glary though. Alright, let's see what's up here. Oh. Well, look what we have here. A handgun. Who'd shoot a kid? I'm going to take a wild guess and assume that this is the murder weapon. At least the witnesses were smart enough not to touch it. It can't be the mother, because a mother would more likely put the kill a child with um, by accident or in a way that's gentle. And I use rabbit quotation marks to say that. Um, you know, poison, smothering in their sleep, that kind of thing, especially to a young child. And I, the father is probably more likely to go on a shooting rampage, but he'd probably shoot his wife as well. So we can rule out the parents, I reckon. Um, I'm going to take, well, usually it's somebody that the person knows, and I suppose it's a birthday party, so she knows everybody here, so that doesn't really take out much. I'm going to take a while, uh, at least, yeah. Now, to use ballistics to confirm it and check for fingerprints. If I'm a detective, I must have some forensic, ooh, sorry, forensic stuff on me. I can't find any. Oh, come on, what kind of detective am I? Apparently a pretty poor one. Damn. Well, I'll work with what I have. Now, I wonder who this might belong to. Christ. Sir, can I ask you a few questions about what happened? I'm the detective. Oh, sure, of course. I'm the poor gal's uncle. Lord, hard to believe she's... Might have been this guy. Can you tell me what happened here? What killed the poor child? Oh, I think... Ah, ha, ha. Yes, I'm an idiot. I was wondering why there was no music. Ah, oh, I'm such a dunce. Yes, of course. The music was because... Sorry. Because I'd turned it off for something else. I was playing another game. It just it was so weird that there was no bleeping or anything. Okay, now that music's a bit... A bit loud. You asked the right person. I'm the only one here who's paid the body more than a glance. I wrapped the blankets around her. No one else had the guts. She was shot three times. Once in her left leg, once in her right shoulder, and finally once in the head. Jeez. That sounds almost like... Trying to stop someone from running away. Hmm. There was a gunpowder burn on that last one, so it was a close range shot. So she saw, probably saw something that she wasn't supposed to, something bad, probably to do with her older sister. I reckon that's what did poor Anna in. Oh, just to say, I'm going into this game blind, completely blind, and I have no idea who did what or what did who or even who the characters are, so um, if I'm hitting the nail on the head, uh, I will chalk it up to my many years of watching detective shows like Poirot and Sherlock Holmes. I used to be a cop. I've seen more than my fair share of corpses and I've done it without batting an eyelash but this, well it was your niece I guess. I've heard the older sister is missing as well, is this true? Yes, we heard her scream too, we've searched high and low but there's no sign of her. Find her, would you? Of course. Um, I've already told you everything I know, all right? Christ, I need a drink. What's this extra bullet? All right, fine. Anna, I'm so sorry, Anna. Hello, miss, I'm the detective. Can I ask you some questions? It was my fault. I'm the nanny. I was supposed to be watching them. If I'd been doing my job instead of drinking with the others, this would never have happened. Well, you, look, you can't... You know, think about that. You, you, it wasn't your fault. You don't expect people to go shooting people at a birthday party. Especially a ten-year-old's birthday party. And especially at ten-year-old's. You can still help, miss. Anything you tell me is important. Alright, talk to me. What do you know about what happened to the poor girl? Nothing that my mind will let me repeat. Oh, Lord. <laughs> We found her in the closet by the sitting area. It, it looks like she was dragged. Anna. I never saw much of her or her sister during the party. 
I put them to bed at 9 p.m. like I always do at home, but that was about it. I truly regret that now. Where were they sleeping? The first bedroom along the hall here. What could have happened? The incident, it was only about 20 minutes after I'd left them. First bedroom, eh? What was it like taking care of the two sisters? What kind of kids were they? Don't talk about her sister as though she's already dead. I'm still her nanny. They were great kids, both of them. Anna was very mild and sweet, if perhaps just a tad spoiled. That was only because we all loved her so. Her older sister was a bit more reserved. She was so bright and energetic until... Until... Nothing. That poor girl. What happened to her sister is going to destroy her. Hmm. Okay. So the sisters probably didn't get along too well. There's plenty of blood around here. This must be where... Looks like the body was likely dragged from the hallway to the closet. The victim apparently lost a lot of blood in the meantime too. Surprised she didn't shout out for help if she was still alive. Hmm, looks like there's a glove print here. I don't believe the victim was wearing gloves. Could the killer have done this? Yeah, probably. Alright. Oh Anna, my sweet Anna. <laughs> this can't possibly be. Uh, excuse me, sir? Who are you? Can't you leave a tormented father alone? Ah, the victim's dad. I'm sorry, sir. Terribly sorry for your loss. But I'm the detective hired to help find the killer. Is there anything you can tell me about the victim? De detective Yes, sir. I was hired. Sir? My Annabelle. She was ten years old today. So beautiful and young, so perfect. I don't... I don't understand how anyone could hurt my girls. I know, sir. I don't understand it either. But I'm here to help you find out, so please tell me everything you know. I was talking with guests downstairs in the main lobby when I suddenly heard gunshots and then both my babies screamed. I ran up here and... and it was the worst moment of my life. Please, please find out who did this and find my oldest daughter before I lose her too. I'm sorry to ask, sir, but what can you tell me about what happened? What killed your little girl? I, I can't. I, if you want to know more, you'll have to talk to my brother. I'm sorry. What about the girl's mother? There should be a S and then an apostrophe and an S after it. Because it's two girls, not the one. Is she around? I'm sure my Anna is with her now. My, my wife passed years ago. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Anna! Anna! You said that you heard your oldest daughter scream too. She's still missing? Yes, that's right. What if whoever did this to her little sister is after her too? Please, you have to find her. I can't lose them both. I can't. Don't worry, sir. I'll find her. Alive. I hope. Alright. Um... This is where the body was apparently found. The door's locked up. Perhaps it was already moved. Shouldn't I, you know, check it out? Looks like this way leads to the bathroom, but it's locked. Hmm. Huh? Where's this blood coming from? Ah, oh, there's something under here. Looks like a pair of gloves and a pair of boots. There are traces of blood. Did the killer wear these? If I did, the gloves would keep any fingerprints from collecting on the murder weapon. If I could even check for prints, that is. Curse my lack of forensics. Was the killer trying to hide them here? They weren't exactly expertly obscured. A body wouldn't fit here, though. I should find out who these belong to. I should be careful showing who these belong to. Another print. This window looks similar to the last one. It's dusty with age and the rim is rusted shut. Nothing else seems off. Hmm. But why would he put his hand against there? I assume it was a male. Males uh, tend to be more aggressive. In their murder sprees. From what I've ex seen, women are more likely to poison in death. These must be the beds the siblings used. 
Hmm, they supposedly went to bed at 9pm before getting up to use the restroom, but the blankets look perfectly undisturbed. It's not normal for kids to make their beds every time they get up to use the bathroom, is it? Alright, I'm going to have to question the lady again. Hmm. Your bitch! Wait, first we'll check here, see if there's anything in here. Your lady! Hey, crazy lady! Uh, children's beds. I'm sorry, I don't believe there's anything that I can tell you. What? Oh. Uh. Oh, those are the rubber gloves from the mansion's kitchen. I used that exact same pair while washing dishes earlier. Wait, that doesn't mean I... I put them back on the shelf where they would belong and never touch them again, I swear. Okay. Um, yes, I believe we all heard it. The voices of those two girls aren't something I'll ever forget. Oh, those are my boots. I wondered where they got to. Of course, this wouldn't be the first time I've lost them after drink. They were found hidden with a pair of bloody gloves. I believe that the killer wore them. Wait, seriously? But, like I said, I'd lost them. You're not thinking that I... It wasn't me. I didn't do this. I haven't accused anyone of yet. Hmm... My Anna, my darling Anna. He's not listening to a word I say. Alright, um... That's... wait, that isn't... That isn't what killed my Anna, is it? It's hard to say for certain without forensic examination, but the possibility appears high. That's... that's my gun. Oh, dear Lord, this can't... Sir, please try and calm down. Where did you keep this gun? It, it was in my suitcase. Just in my suitcase. I should have listened to her late mother and got rid of it. Take it away. I'll never want to see that thing again. Um, whoop. Uh, show item. Okay, show item. Where's the extra bullet? Nope. Okay. Bloody boots. Show item. Bloody glove. Show item drag marks. Fuck's sake, man. No, I... Mm. Alright, in his suitcase, you say. Let's check that out, then. Suitcase. supposed to do now? Have I missed a piece of evidence or something? That can't be right. I'm pretty search sure I've searched everywhere. Well, double check everything. Mm, nothing. Okay.
Yes, and I'd like to draw that attention to the fucking nurse, but I can't, can I? <sighs> Bitch, I'm gonna have to talk to you again about the things. Look. Oh. <laughs> oh god. All right guys, in the next episode I will continue with the the whole thingy and the doobie and the whatsy and the hoobie wobby and the the whole murdery thingy. Until then, ciao.